China's power supply is struggling as winter temperatures plunge. Is the ban on Australian coal to blame? In China, the prospect of resource scarcity is largely thought to be a thing of the past, but this month, power outages have returned to some parts of the country, conjuring memories of China's old command economy, where resource rationing was a part of daily life. Chinese social media has seen tens of thousands of posts complaining about the new electricity restrictions in the country's central and eastern provinces of Hunan and Zhejiang, which have been viewed more than 150 million times on the platform Weibo. News of the restrictions comes amid a burgeoning trade spat between Australia and China, in which Australian Co. appears to have effectively been barred from Chinese ports. By November, more than 60 vessels carrying Australian thermal coal were held up in Chinese waters because they weren't able to offload their cargo, according to Bloomberg shipping analysis data. So do China's recent energy woes have anything to do with its sanctions on Australia, or is it just an awkward coincidence? Residents of Hunan and Zhejiang have been issued notices stipulating the orderly use of electricity, along with other power restrictions that haven't been seen for a long time, according to local media reports. The restrictions have come during a particularly cold Chinese winter, where millions of people have switched on energy-intensive heating to cope with sub-zero temperatures. Temperatures in Zhejiang plummet around this time of year, with daily average lows of 3 degrees Celsius in December. In January, the mercury usually doesn't rise above 8 degrees. According to China's state-owned broadcaster, CCTV, lights and lifts in some office buildings were shut off in several cities across Hunan and Zhejiang. The power outages forced some office workers in Hunan city of Changsha to climb 20 to 30 flights of stairs, according to a report in the local news publication. Social media users made similar complaints. The office room is freezing cold after the aircon was turned off. Now the lift is shut off, one resident wrote on Weibo. Changsha residents have also been advised against using energy-intensive appliances such as electric stoves and ovens, and not to set air conditioners above 20 degrees. In Hunan, authorities said the province of more than 67 million people had reached the electricity grid's maximum load with a predicted gap of 3 to 4 million kilowatts of energy during winter's peak period, according to local media. This year's situation is quite special. One is that winter comes earlier and the weather is relatively cold. A spokesperson for Changsha's Development and Reform Commission told China's cover news this week. Then, our coal supply in Hunan province is also insufficient. For various reasons, the power supply is now relatively tight. This was again stated by a spokesperson for the Shangsha Power Supply Company, who said Hunan's power pinch was partly due to the cold and partly due to a drop in energy production capacity. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe.